Eldest is Soul. And Leo, you're up next. This is your three month overview um, for 2020, January, February, and March. All right, Leo. Energies are for Leo Sun, Moon, and Leo Rising Sign. So this is my gift to you. You know, I always try to uh, throw in something extra um, for you guys before the end of the year. Now, I normally do the uh, yearly forecast, but the problem is, is that once those forecasts go up, people forget about them. They don't remember what, you know, um, the messages were. So my goal and my hope is to... Um, do it shorter, which I'm going to do. I'm only going to do January, February, and March, and that's all you're going to get, Leo, okay? You're not getting no more. <laughs> so uh, that's enough energy. Uh, but that's just to get you started, uh, jump started for the new year. So first and foremost, Happy New Year, Leo. <laughs> and I know I'm putting the, the uh, video earlier. So if you haven't had an opportunity to look at the uh, intro video to um, explaining um, what I'm about to do and... Um, how I'm, I'm about to do it. Uh, go look at that. But I do explain everything um, in the video. So what I'm doing is I'm using the, um, oh, I was going to say Astro Skyon deck, but no, I'm not. I'm using the caster, the spell casters deck. Okay. And I don't even recall if I use this during the normal, regular uh, weekly readings. I don't recall. I really don't. I have so many decks. Um, but I'm using only the major arcanas in the deck. And so in between the readings, I started off, I'm doing chronological order. It starts with Aries and ends up with Pisces. So, Leo, you are the um, fifth sign for me that I'm about to read for. I just did Cancer. And so um, <clears throat> just to show you, um, the cards are all in the upright position. Um as I begin to shuffle your energies. Uh, and I like the fact that the backs are, um, you can't really tell if they're, they're in the upright or uh, reverse position. So I'm going to shuffle. And then also I'm using uh, Andrea Fertex. I just received this beautiful deck, uh, the Afro Goddess Tarot Oracle, 37 cards. She, well, it's actually 36 in Lenormand, but she threw in the extra card called it the Ankh, A-N-K-H. Uh, but I took that out because I'm not too familiar with that. And I am familiar with the uh, regular Lenormand, so I don't want that to be one of the selections to come up and then I get stomped into trying to explain what the energies may be. So this is, uh, she personally um, inscribed this for me on the back. And then, of course, um, another inscription on the inside. It's beautiful. And I was going to do a deck review, but she's done a good job. So all you have to do is just throw in her name. And his uh, last name is spelled F-U-R-T-I-C-K. Andrea is the first name. Uh, so, yes, check her out. Uh, I will support her because she's uh, a very... Uh, this is my third deck. I purchased two decks prior from her, and this is the third one. So, without further ado, let's see what the energies are for Leo. Coming up for Leo in 2020. January 2020. Happy New Year's, Leo. So, I'm going to shuffle the cards. Then, after shuffling, I do shuffle in between the... Um, you know, the uh, uh, the readings and stuff, Leo. So just to let you know, because it gives me an opportunity to turn the, the cards that were selected from the previous reading back up in the upright position and then start all over again. So <clears throat> shuffle the cards and then fan. I will select seven cards. And then I will turn those cards in the uh, reverse position, put them back in the deck and reshuffle again and then select three cards from after shuffling. And the reason why I'm using seven cards, Leo, is because of the fact that it's only three months worth of energies. It's uh, 21 major arcanas. So f seven times three is 21, right? So that's how I came up with that. <laughs> uh, no big deal. Turned them around, and now I'm putting them back into the deck and shuffling once more. I'm using five of uh, Andrea's uh, Oracle uh, Lenormans to complement your readings. Those are just additional uh, energies that may play out in any given month, or they may play out in terms of energies in all three months. So, But this is why I'm giving you 
more information so that you can be able to work with and be able to also distinguish um, where to put the place the energies, you know, like in January, February, March, or all three. All right, so let's select the three cards to see what is coming up for Leo in uh, 2020, January, February, March. Okay, shuffle this deck right quick. One popped out, that's the heart. I'm going to uh, use that. It also popped out on cancer. So that heart is about relationships, okay? It's about love. And because I have to be, um, you know, fair in terms of the energies, the uh, heart could represent just your emotional aspect. Uh, it could is a good way. Uh, it could be, a, it's not the ring. So the ring is usually a commitment or a marriage or something like that. Uh, but if the ring shows up here, then I'll make the connection because the most important thing about the um, the Normans is you read them in pairs. And I have chosen just to select five cards and just go from there. If I see a connection and make a connection with pairing, then uh, I will use that. Also, the bear has flipped out. So that's going to be part of your energies, too. The bear normally... Uh, represents a person of authority, a very strong, usually female though, female person of authority. Um, it could be somebody who is uh, representing, you know, like in, in business, uh, but a very strong, affluent person. Now, yes, the bear, usually representing business, uh, people who are uh, leaders in business, people who are in authority positions, uh, and so forth. But uh, normally the bear in Lenormand represent, couldn't represent female energies. Okay, so let me select three more cards for you, and then we'll go with on to uh, the reading. Now, just because the ring, well, we don't know if the ring is going to be here or yet, just yet, uh, Leo, keep in mind that this heart is about relationships, okay, emotional uh, feelings, it could be, it's definitely love, and it also could uh, denote, um, it precedes the bear, so that bear would represent a actual uh, person, so it could be that there is a new love coming in for possibly uh the bear doesn't necessarily relate to uh, someone being older just someone who's uh very powerful and possibly not only powerful but could be in a you know a very powerful position a person of a strong authority and like i said before female so out of fairness to you because the bear normally represents females it could also be a male a male could be the person I'm just going to say male or female. So there's either a new love coming in, uh, starting uh, the turn of the year, 2020, for some Leos who are single. This could also denote just being in, all, you know, already in a relationship. And then the heart would just represent you uh, being in that relationship and how you're feeling overall about the relationship. Okay, so, but there is a potential of a new connection of romance all right so what we have to focus on leo this is energies for leo sun moon and rising signs for january and then also three months of 2020 so your major arcana listen your energies and it's in the reverse okay so leo this is it uh just to show you what this card looks like uh in the upright position wow leo the lion is represented i had another i think it was cancer who had the chariot the cancer chariot represents cancer so, Leo, you step into the energies of January of having, you know, this is all about being uh, courageous, powerful, uh, feeling all in your power when it's in the upright position. Uh, there's nothing that you can, um, there's nothing that that could come up or crop up for you that you are fearful of. When it's in the reverse, however, that means that there's something that you're fearful of. And normally, because it's the female and the lion that represents you 
the person here would be there's there's a fear of losing someone or if it's not an actual person there's a fear of losing some other uh type of energy that's attached or connected to you uh possibly coming through in the month of january the the, the goal is to overcome whatever fears or power struggles that you may have uh with self or the power struggles may be with other people but i feel that there's um you know, there's a, there's this fear of losing some type of energy connected to you. Whatever that is, you fill in the blanks. All right. I'm just giving you my intuitive impression. So the focus for some of the lions in January is having to build up enough courage to tackle the energy of the reversal of the strength card. So whatever it is that you may be presented with in the month of January, uh, this is what's coming through. OK, fearing something, losing something of uh, losing your power, uh, usually the losing the loss of power could be the loss of a control of a situation as well. So keep that in mind. So you may enter into January and feel like you're losing control on some uh, energy that is connected to you that could be valid or it may not be valid. What's uh, in store for you in uh, February 2020, Leo? Well, we have the devil card. So the devil shows up here and it's in the upright position. If you know all about the devil, the devil is about uh, having to deal with bad uh, habits and relationships. Also, it could be involving uh, the devil creates uh, illusion. So making sure that you see uh, people and see situations for who they are and the situations for what they are and not what you want them to believe, because that's what the devil uh, creates. He creates that false uh, energy for you this could be involving addictions for someone uh actual drug abuse substance abuse um you know you name it drinking smoking gambling shopping it could be sexual energies um I, you know the devil normally comes up for me in the um regular weekly readings as unrequited love it could be that Leo likes someone and someone doesn't like uh, Leo back in return or it's vice versa. So it can go either way. But this is primarily about feeling restricted, something restricting you, something you feel unbound to. It could be a situation, person or an event. So we have to discover what that is as we move into the month of February, which is Valentine's month. So something uh, feeling chained and bound. you can see the two characters here chained and uh, bound to the devil. And uh, we have to address some sort of um, energy that is not good for us. Or if it is something that is going on with uh, people who are, you know, that you are connected to. That could be the devil's energy. What we have to look forward to in March is um, now we have another card that's in the reverse. OK. It's the higher five. This is the re this is actually the relationship uh, card. This is uh, things related to our um, politics. Um, and then, you know, it, because it in this instance, it mirrors the um, opening card energy, January, the strength card, your energy. This is, you know, losing faith and hope in a situation. That's when it's in the reverse. So but when it's in the upright, it's always about maintaining that hope and keeping the faith. This is about uh, it could be representing uh, a marriage. Um, the higher fund also could be representing um, higher education, higher learning could be, you know, on the job training. But I don't want to go too deep with that. But I feel that the uh, bases are, you know, the, the most important thing for me to say when it shows up in the reverse, that there is an aspect of your energy to maintain or at least try to hold on to something that you believe in uh, and have faith that things are going to be uh, turning out the way that you want them to, uh, to be. It may not be um, so readily in, in the month of March, but you have to hold on to that. The, the, the priests are not the priests. The Hierophant comes in as a priest. So it's about that spiritual and religious uh, stuff. If you are spiritual and religious and then things aren't going the way that you want them to go. Always, always, always keep that faith and that hope alive. Uh, it's nothing that's ever um, set in stone or, you know, 
uh, finalized in anything. This comes across as the relationship card. Uh, so, you know, not only is it um, in the upright position about someone possibly getting married in front of a priest, it also could be, uh, that's when it's in the upright. Someone is having issues. Ironically, it follows that devil card where I said that some Leos may have to be dealing with the aspects of uh, bad habits um, that apply to themselves or it applies to others. But the others, if it does apply to others, is impacting or affecting your relationship and moving forward. OK, so that is your majors showing up here. And I forgot to mention the devil represents the earth energies, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. So I already talked about the heart. It's still, you know, part of the energies. It may be all of these things connected to January, February and or March. So following the bear, we have, well, you receive a gift, the bouquet. This could be actually, a, you know, receiving flowers. The bouquet is one of the most positive cards in the Lenormand deck. And there's a gift coming. Now, a gift could be an actual, like I said before, a, a, you know, flowers now. Think about it, February, um, we're covering February, so it could be that someone receives flowers for Valentine's Day or whatnot. This is a card of beauty, and it's also a card of those visitations to, you know, beauty shops, parlors, um, someone possibly owning a hair salon, beauty salon. It could be a spa, a health spa, uh, but someone um, receives a gift. It mirrors um the heart so if i wanted to take this deeper as a gift this could be actually a heart transplant someone receives a heart transplant and then what's in in the middle is a woman or the it could be male or female i'm sorry uh and this is the this is the bear so this is how i'm seeing it uh, but if it's not those things that i said there's still the potential of receiving uh some type of gift uh, being a receptor of a gift. Okay, following the bouquet, there's the ring. I told you, I told you. <laughs> so the ring is about commitments, contracts, um, being devoted to another person. It could also, you know, represent, uh, you know, someone receiving. See, it follows the gift card. So someone could be getting engaged on Valentine's Day. And it's a ring. Someone gives you a... a it could be a proposal and someone gives you an engagement ring. Someone still could be, uh, in spite of the Hierophant, uh, being in the uh, reverse position. And that's all about marriage. This is also to our politics. So uh, I do feel that this may not even be something that represents you, Leo, but there's something going on with our politics in the month of March. As I was picking up some energies, uh, I, I do believe with Gemini that something's going on with them. Uh, regarding our politics in February. OK, so just I'm throwing these energies out here. We just have to wait and see as the time approaches, how things start to unfold, because uh, I always say nothing that I say is written in stone. But we have the commitment. This commitment is about uh, commitment to another person. It could be contracts involving work. It could be, you, again, you receiving this gift and it's a proposal or an engagement. So if I was to read these in pairs, this is what I'm getting. So you can read if it's not a ring it's some type of jewelry. It could be work related matters as in forming a contract. The ring mirrors the bear business. So Leo could be getting contracts when it's work related or it could be independent uh, Leos who are out there that are contractors. This is a very positive card as well as the bouquet. Even the bear is positive as well as the heart. So your last card in this five card spread is the opportunity. This is the key, something to unlock. Someone could be purchasing. Um, the key is about opening up things, opening up opportunities. So it could be that you... Uh, someone is dealing physically with a key and it has something to do with unlocking a door, which could be a purchase of a home. It could be unlocking um, a key necessary to unlock the jewelry box, uh, the key to unlock the business 
If you run in a business and it's, you know, a hair salon, beauty salon, health spa, whatever it could be, opportunity. This is a key that represents opportunities that are in store for Leo. Someone could be moved into a higher position, um, bumped into a position of authority with the bear showing up here. All right, Leo, I, this is what I have for you. So, uh, again, I appreciate you guys. Um, happy New Year. Happy 2020. Uh, and throw those comments in. Let me know how these energies are fold, unfolding for you as we begin to start the new year. And like I said before, I, this video, I will provide a link uh, for uh, the weekly you know, readings that I do for you so that nobody lose sight of uh, what was said and... Um, what happened to the videos and uh, that's why I wanted to make it shorter condenser you know condense it a little bit so that is uh, people can have something to refer to all right so be safe uh, Leo uh, wishing you all love and light until I talk to you again bye